hi guys welcome to my channel so today I'm going to show you how to make crispy dosa so for this batter you'll need one cup of orut dal with a quarter teaspoon of fenugreek seeds soak fenugreek seeds and orut dal in one bowl and in another bowl take three cups of rice Either you can take dosa rice or white rice. So soak the rice and keep it aside. So you have to soak this about 4 to 5 hours. Then you'll need white poha or cooked rice. So if you're using white poha then you can soak it 10 minutes before blending. So now it's been 4 to 5 hours. So now I'm going to blend the urud dal and the fenugreek mixture. You can add little bit of water as the mixture has to be thick and smooth paste. So as you can see the mixture has to be smooth and thick like this. So pour this mixture into a container and then we'll add the rice. So now add in the rice mixture so you shouldn't add more water just little by little. Now into that mixture you can add the poha or cooked rice. So if you're taking cooked rice you can add half a cup of cooked rice. Pour this as well and give it a good mix. So as you can see the mixture is really thick and I have mixed the mixture really well. So this is the dosa and the idli batter. You can keep this for about 10 to 12 hours so I'm going to keep it overnight and it will double the size so I'm going to transfer half of the mixture in another bowl as it will double. So now it has been 12 hours so now let's see how the dosa batter has come out. So as you can see it has doubled the size. This is what we are looking for. So add in some salt, if you are making idli just add in some salt and if you want to make dosas add in little bit of water. And there you have your crispy dosas. So for this I'm going to boil some water in the idli cooker.
there you have your soft and fluffy idlis so hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up so if you want me to share any other recipes please let me know in the comment section below so if you are new to my channel please do subscribe and see you soon bye